Today, it is my first day in office as your new Director General. And uh, I want you all to know how fortunate I feel to be joining the IOM family. Roughly 11,000 men and women, the majority of whom scattered around the globe. With this uh, brief uh, message, let uh, me first and foremost praise the remarkable work of my predecessor, Bill Swing. He has uh, consolidated IOM uh, reputation as a principled, accountable, transparent organization with an enviable track record of efficiency and effectiveness. Thank you, Bill. Let me also be very direct with you in this first uh, message to tell you what especially appeals about IOM, in my view, is its committing to be simultaneously at the service of migrants and of our member states alike. Thanks to IOM membership of the UN family, we are also, I believe, reaching an inflection point in the life of our organization. We are about to see, hopefully, the Global Compact on uh, Safe, Regular and Order Migration being endorsed in Marrakesh in December. And the Secretary General of the United Nations has asked IOM to play a coordinating and supporting role of the newly created UN Migration Network therefore being in charge of supporting member states in the implementation of the objectives of the Global Compact. I believe that uh, IOM is fortunate with the fact that uh, these new tasks are largely aligned to our work that we already develop daily. And the advantages of IOM that you know so well its flexibility, its uh, effectiveness, its decentralized nature, and being a cost-effective organization, make IOM prepare to this new challenge and to adapt, change, and grow. There will also need to be very clear on one point. We stick to our very nature. We are an organization very much close to migrants, especially those who are more vulnerable and those who are in need of humanitarian assistance. And we will stick to our very nature, to our DNA, being uh, capable to respond to the requests of our member states, being flexible in providing tailor-made solutions, and being effective in contributing to the management of migratory flows, linking together countries of origin, of transit, and of destination. Above all, I think that these new tasks correspond to the recognition of the unique role that IOM plays as a proximity organization to the migrants that we serve in particular and our key role to guarantee their human rights, their human dignity, their well-being, irrespective of their legal status. Therefore, IOM's new role in the UN system and the implementation of the Global Compact should not be seen as a job just for the headquarter or for the central department. Not at all. It is a task which involves the entire organization. And doing that, we will do it in an inclusive way. From the smallest missions to my office in headquarters, including the country and the regional offices. We will we'll also deepen our partnership with UN agencies and other stakeholders from the civil society at the local, at the regional, and global level. And, of course, for that purpose, some organizational and funding adjustments will have to be made 
in due course. I'm fully aware that today, in different parts of the world, the political landscape on migration is overheated. But the paradox is that at the same time as there, is, there are signs of retrenchment, that's the moment where the global compact is adopted. That's the moment where the UN migration network is created. And therefore, those two instruments, fully aligned with the sustainable development goals, will be the leverage to put migration in the international agenda and to guarantee its advancement, advancement worldwide. Therefore, I must say to you very frankly, I believe that there has never been a more exciting or challenging time to work in the field of migration. I'm counting with the professionalism, commitment, and full engagement of all who work in IOM. As we take on these new challenges, I am counting on all of you. Thank you.